So let us have understanding that how to calculate the answer for the second part of the question. In second part of the question friends, we are required to work out the answer like this. First of all, we will compute number of futures contract which are required to be entered upon for the purpose of hedging. The question does not provide us that say what is the required beta. So we assume the required beta 0 and accordingly we will compute the number of contracts to be entered upon. Second, we will make the calculation that what would be the futures price one month later. Because the question says that say after three months the futures price is 4500. That is not the price at which see you can enter into the transaction for the settlement of the futures. Why? Because the futures contract must have been entered upon for four months. Once we compute the new futures price, we'll make the calculation of the profit or loss. Everybody is requested to pay attention. Let us assume that so the today's date is 1st of January. As per the given information, the futures contract is of 30th of April, that is 5050. What is the lot size? Lot size is 5050. So product of both of them is so the value of one contract. That comes to 2,52,500. Let me explain you, do not write anything. First of all, we will compute the number of contracts to be entered upon. You can see that so the value of the portfolio is 10,10,000. 10, beta of the portfolio is 1.50. Required beta is 0. Divided by 2,52,500. That is the futures contract value. So over here 10,10,000 10, into 1.5 divided by 2,52,500 that gives us fortunately exactly 6 contracts. So we will enter into the transaction for sale index futures for 30th of April 6 contracts because whenever it is the exchange rated contracts you cannot have the date of the transaction as per your convenience. It will be as per the rules and regulations of the exchange. So even though you want to have the hedging for three months, however the three months futures contract is not available. So you will use the four months futures contract for the purpose of hedging. Now the question says that on 31st of March, if at all, the spot index value is 4500. Then in that case you have to compute what would be the profit or loss say with the sale index transaction in which you have entered upon. So what happens friends, the way we have made the calculation of the futures price over here taking into account the time period of 4 months, similarly we will compute the new futures price. So that futures price will be spot plus interest minus dividend. Spot index value is 4500 plus 4500 into the rate of interest is 9 percentage minus dividend yield is 6 percentage. That is the way we are required to make the calculation of answer. So 4500 plus 33.75 minus twenty two point five. So forty five hundred plus thirty three point seventy five minus twenty two point five. So it is 4511.25. So this is the revised futures price. And of course we understand that say initially the transaction was entered upon to sale. So now we are supposed to buy in order to square up the contract. 
So this was sale contract. So now you will have the buy contract at four five double one point two five. And difference of that say will be the profit or loss that you will have. So the difference is I think five thirty eight point seventy five. Multiply with the lot size that is fifty. Multiply with the number of contract six. That comes to rupees one lakh sixty one thousand six hundred twenty five. This is the way we are required to make the calculation of answer. That is the profit or loss by squaring of the transaction at the end of the three months. So please write down an answer for the second question. Worky note number one. Calculation of F price, futures price, after one month. Spot plus interest minus dividend. What is the spot price? Forty five hundred. Plus forty five hundred into nine percentage into one divided by twelve minus forty five hundred into six percentage into one divided by twelve. So forty five hundred plus double three seven five. I'm sorry, double three point seventy five minus twenty two point five. So four five double one point two five. That is the way the futures price will be calculated for one month. Worky note number two. Calculation of number of futures contract to be sold, comma, before three months, for four months. Comma, for the purpose of hedging. So in the write down, value of the portfolio into beta of portfolio. Minus beta required divided by futures index value into lot size. Value of the portfolio is given to us ten lakh ten thousand rupees, friends. Beta of the portfolio one point five minus beta required is zero divided by futures index value. So initially, when you had entered into the transaction, at that time the futures index value was five zero five zero. So five zero five zero into fifty, that is the lot size. So ten lakh ten thousand into one point five, that is fifteen lakh fifteen thousand. Divided by Five zero five zero into fifteen. That is two lakh fifty two thousand five hundred. That is six contracts. So this is the number of contracts which are required to be entered upon for the purpose of hedging.
Next, calculation of the profit or loss for the futures contract. In that say we will make a comparison of the sale value and purchase value. Futures contract value is 5050 multiplied with 6 into 15 and the purchase value will be 4511.25 multiplied with 6 multiplied with 15 that is the way we will compute the profit or loss So sale value is 15 lakh 15 thousand. Purchase value is 4511.25 into 6 into 15. So it is 13 lakh 53,375. And difference of both of them is profit or loss. One lakh sixty one thousand six twenty five. This is the way the profit or loss will be calculated. So, let us with paragraph further. From above working, comma. There is a profit of rupees one lakh sixty one thousand six twenty five. One lakh sixty one thousand six hundred twenty five. Good stuff. So it is end of the answer. Yet I am dictating some notes to you further for your understanding purpose. First point. In this question, comma, information is given that trader wants to hedge portfolio. for 3 months comma using 4 months futures contracts second point In order to compute profit or loss for futures contract entered upon comma we have to find one month futures price based on spot value After three months, third point initially transaction was entered upon
for sale futures comma so now to square off the transaction comma we have to buy futures full stop difference between sale price and purchase price is profit or loss for futures contract So just having an overview of the entire answer, in the first part of the question we had to compute the futures price of the underlying asset that is index over here. Very simple question as far as the first part is concerned. Importantly it has been given that so the time period of the futures contract is for 4 months. In second part of the question, we have been provided with the spot index value after three months, the point at which we want to have the hedging. So what happens at say, at the end of the three months, whatever the initial contract that we had entered upon for the purpose of sale, we have to square up, now we have to buy. And difference of that is the profit or loss at say we are likely to have. So we compute the futures price for one month, that is 451.25. Then we compute the number of contracts which are required to be entered upon for the purpose of selling. That is six contracts are required to be sold. And lastly the profit or loss say with the futures contract. So initially we had entered into the transaction for sale. So now we have to enter into, into the transaction of buy. And difference of that is the profit or loss that we have. So importantly over here say calculation of the one month futures price is the most important point over here 